Welcome back, Mail Crew. Welcome back. Welcome back. So today is the last day in 2020. So I wanted to just show you guys some of the empties from 2020. So the first thing I want to show you guys is my Young Nails Nail Liquid is what they call it. But we all know that translates into monomer. So I actually had way more than two bottles of Young Nails Monomer that I've emptied in 2020. But these are the only two bottles that I could find right now. The monomer was okay. Going into 2021, will I repurchase it? Not really. It got the job done, but I'm not going to call it my favorite. So in 2021, unless there's a massive sale, no. It's a no for me. All right, so let's talk about Enel Couture. So this monomer, you guys, another favorite when I was in school. I feel like everyone had Young Nails because our kit was actually from Young Nails. Um, so everyone just naturally gravitated towards that brand. Same thing with Enel Couture. For some reason, we all just kind of gravitated towards it. I really love the smell of their monomer. But I felt like I had lifting when using this monomer. You guys, I had a lot of lifting, so I kind of shied away from it. Now, that could have just been because I was inexperienced, because I was a student, of course. So that could be why maybe I should give it another try now that I'm a little bit more proficient in doing nails. Maybe I'll try it again. But as far as right now, I don't feel like going into 2021, I'll be repurchasing Enel Couture Monomer. We are off to a horrible start so far. <laughs> you guys, Glam and Glitz, I was also disappointed in this monomer as well. I'm not finished the entire bottle. Like you could tell, I still have some left in here, but it's almost done. So I figured I might as well show you guys. Glam and Glitz, I got this because when COVID hit, it was really, really hard to find monomer. Like monomer doubled in price. So for this gallon, I think, I paid $150, which at the time it was a good deal. I am not a fan. It's a slow setting monomer. So if you need a slow setting monomer because you're new, then you might like it. For me, it just made the acrylic just a little bit too runny. It just wasn't my favorite monomer, which is okay. I'm entitled to my opinion. If you guys out there love Glam and Glitz, I say continue to use it. I just would not be repurchasing this in 2021, you guys. I just won't do it. All right, let's talk about something else. Alcohol. <laughs> We're done with the monomer. So I liked that it had this little top. You could just pop it open and then kind of press the top. Ooh, so maybe it wasn't empty. <laughs> I probably had like a few drops <laughs> left in there. But yeah, so I got this alcohol. This is 99% alcohol. I got it to prep my nails. And I also got it around the time when I was doing poly gel. And I thought that I needed a really strong alcohol as lip solution. But my, 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 how have we grown since then? So first of all, I don't even use alcohol for my slip solution anymore. I use base coat polish for slips. So I do not need a 99 plus 99% alcohol was just way too much for slip anyway. <laughs> All you need is a good 50% alcohol for slip solution and you are fine. <laughs> so I will not be wasting any more money purchasing 99% alcohol in a cute little bottle like this. I think I bought it just because of the bottle, you guys. Let's just be honest. But would I be spending money on cute little bottles like this going into 2021? I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it, you guys. I will just continue to get alcohol from the dollar store. That's been working just fine for me. All right, so I found some more monomer. This is the ASP brand. You can find it at Sally's. It got the job done. It did what I needed it to do. I ran out of monomer. It was last minute. I grabbed something from Sally's. Would I be purchasing this brand again? Uh, not really. You know, it got the job done, but I feel like I've elevated past monomers you could find at Sally's. You get what I mean? So nope, not a repurchase for me in 2021. You guys, this video, oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about swipe solution from Young Nails. Let's just look at the ingredients, you guys. The only thing that's in here, alcohol, nail polish remover, water, and blue dye. 
You can make this yourself. Just remove the freaking blue dye and you have swipe solution. So you guys, I've just been making my own. I do have, I think, half a bottle of another one. And once that's empty, I will not be repurchasing swipe solution. I make my own and the one that I make, you guys, it works exactly the same and it's a lot cheaper. And another one. Another one. <laughs> Speaking of Young Nails, I found another bottle of their monomer. Uh, this is a smaller bottle, same monomer, just different packaging. All right, so acetone, you guys. Will I be repurchasing acetone in 2021? Of course, but not in this small quantity. I now purchase acetone in the gallons, you guys. Yes, in the gallons. And what I have is these cute little acetone bottles. I also sell these bottles on my website. I like the cuteness of them. They're nice and small. They're easier to travel with. And then I have one for my alcohol, so everything matches. I have one for acetone one for alcohol, one for monomer, and one for lotion. So I just like how all four of them together look really good in my nail space. And like I said, I do sell these empty bottles on my website. So if you want your nail space to look nice and, you know, just beautiful and everything matching, you can head over to my website and purchase these empty bottles and fill them up with your favorite products. All right, moving on. So I have some chrome white acrylic from Enel Couture. Like I said, when I was in school, Oh my gosh, we just went crazy on Young Nails and e -nail Couture. That was like the school phase. So I did try their Chrome White. I don't have anything bad to say about it. It worked okay. It definitely got the job done. If you're into e -nail Couture, then I think that you would like their Chrome White. Would I repurchase it? No, <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> All right, so model ones, you guys. Okay, finally. Yes, yes, yes. I would repurchase from model ones. At this point, I feel like I have every single acrylic that Model Ones has to offer. So <laughs> I won't be making a purchase for a long time. But what I like to do with some of my colored acrylics are change some of the colors. That's weird. I know. But for example, this pink, it was a nice bright pink. But what I did was I added a little clear to it in one container and made like a soft pink. And then I added glitter in it in another container and made a glitter pink. And then I added like maybe some white to it and made it like a creamier looking pink. So yeah, what can I say? I have fun with my acrylics. Uh, that's part of the reason why I really, really love acrylic powders versus like poly gel and gels and things like that because acrylic powders are very versatile. But anyway, model ones. Yes, I love model ones, you guys. It will be a repurchase for me blush okay so here we go here's another good one so this is from young nails would i repurchase blush yes and i already have okay i've already have <laughs> so this is a cover pink with a hint of shimmer oh my gosh it's a beautiful color it's a beautiful color you guys yes thumbs up to blush your yogi clear builder gel would i repurchase would I repurchase? Honey, I've already repurchased, okay? <laughs> I have tons of this stuff. I really do have tons. It's a really good, thick consistency. It's one of my favorite gels. It has always... Go back and check my videos from like last year, you guys. I've always said that this was one of my favorite gels. So, yep, 2021, mm -hmm, you'll be coming along. Melatonin. <laughs> I have this in here, you guys, because when I was in nail school, I showed you guys that I was taking melatonin to help me fall asleep because you guys know I have insomnia. Yes, this is this is definitely a repurchase for me. <laughs> I just threw that in there. <laughs> All right. Glitter. Oh my gosh. First of all, I have tons of empty glitter containers. This one glitter container is like a representative of all my empty glitter containers. Otherwise, we'd be here all day. I love glitter. Would I repurchase glitter in 2021? First of all, I don't need to because I feel like I can just have stock 
in glitter. I feel like I have all the glitters. <laughs> but yes, I will be purchasing more. I will. I will. I will. All right. E nail couture again. So this is a huge container of clear. Like I said, when I was in school, I wanted to be on the bandwagon. All the ladies had E nail couture. So what did I do? I went out and purchased E nail couture, you guys. Okay. And I got a big container of their clear and it was okay. It didn't give me like an elite product type feel. Like it didn't make me feel like I was using a luxury brand, for example. But um, it got the job done. And if you guys love Eno Couture, I'm not going to say anything bad about it. If you love it, continue to repurchase it in 2021. I don't think I need to. I do sell clear acrylic on my website and that's the clear acrylic. Honey, I have emptied and repurchased and emptied and repurchased my own acrylic. So that's the one I'll be using in 2021. Not Young Nails, not Eno Couture and not Mia Secret. Now, Mia Secret is okay. I used Mia Secret when I was practicing, when I was trying to figure out if I wanted to do nails or not. Because remember, guys, I do have a degree. I do have a doctorate degree. I even have a master's degree. Like, I have all kinds of degrees, okay? I have degrees. I have certificates. So I was trying to decide if I wanted another certificate doing nails or not. So, of course, you're going to go on Amazon. You're going to purchase what's affordable. Mia Secret at the time was most affordable. And I used it. And it was okay. It definitely got the job done. What I don't like about Mia Secret is that it's kind of runny. It's a runny or acrylic. And I don't think I would repurchase it in 2021. I just don't have the need for it. Their white acrylic was okay. I actually like their white better than their clear. But I don't have anything against their clear other than it's a little bit runny. Okay, I don't want to get it twisted. Mia Secret's a really, really good brand. So no shade there. And then still talking about acrylics. This extra, extra white from Young Nails. Uh-uh, it was not extra, extra white. I feel like if you throw three X's in your name, like it should give me that boom pow factor. It did not, it did not. I will not repurchase XXX white from Young Nails in 2021. I just will not do it. I feel like it just, it was white. It definitely was white, but it wasn't XXX white. You get what I mean? Yeah, well, I'm just gonna leave that alone. Let's move on. So the next acrylic is also from Young Nails. This is actually their newer packaging. So the blue container I just showed you guys, let me show you, here it is. So the blue one is their older packaging. The white one is their newer packaging, but I think the product inside is exactly the same. Now I do wanna say the clear powder and the white powder, not necessarily my fave, but this Core Natural Powder gets a thumbs up and yes, I would repurchase it. What I like about a natural powder is that if you're doing an ombre and the fade is not perfect, you could use a natural powder to encapsulate it. It will make the fade blend in a lot better than if you're using a clear powder. So that's a little cheat. You guys are welcome to use that cheat if you need to, okay? If the ombre does not look flawless, get you a natural powder and just encapsulate it. It's going to make it look just a little bit foggy, but it's definitely going to blend in that ombre so yeah you're welcome for that tip you're welcome all right so moving on let's look at some gels so this is a Cosella gel I think you can find it on Amazon you can find it on eBay and places like that I love 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 this gel it is so thick you guys would I repurchase I already have I love it to build nails with but I also love it as a bling gel because it is so thick and it really really just gets the job done you and and it's affordable check my amazon storefront link it's in the description box go to gels go to my gel section and you will see this gel you will not be disappointed if you like thick gels speaking of thick gels yeah, Yogi. I love you, Yogi. Now look at the packaging. The packaging looks identical. I don't know if they're made in the same factory. I don't know if they're sister companies or whatever. Very well could be. And that's why I love them both. Like I really, really do. They feel very similar to me. So they could be the same company. I don't know. Now I beat DJ. Hated it. 
No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Not a repurchase. Let me just be clear. Cosella, yes, repurchase. Yo, Yogi, yes, repurchase. This right here, no. It's a no for me, okay? It's too watery. It's too expensive. I think IBD was one of the first builder gels. So, you know, they got the reputation on the block with being like tried and true. So their price is just crazy expensive. But you don't get what you pay for. To me, you get a watery gel. I just don't like it. Nope, not moving into 2021. No, ma'am. No, sir. Now, I don't know how this got in my container of empties. I just don't know. It's full. It's a brand new bottle. I don't even remember purchasing this. I don't even know how I got it. But it's so full. So I'm going to have to use it. It's a top coat. And maybe it's freaking awesome. But I don't know because I haven't tried it. So maybe next year it'll be in my empties. Yeah maybe next year. All right, so let's move on. More acrylic from Young Nails. Like I said, it came in my kit for school and, you know, we used a lot of Young Nails while I was in school. So obviously I'm going to have a lot of empty containers from Young Nails, but I'm just showing you guys, I loved the natural. So I did use up all the natural in the old packaging and then I bought a new one in their new packaging and that is now empty as well. So you can't get your ombres right. <laughs> Get you some natural powder and cover those ombres up, ladies. Cover them up, gentlemen. <laughs> cover them up. Um, the white, I ended up using this white first. Didn't like it. Tried the XXX white. Still didn't like it. And yeah, it, it is what it is. All right, so their clear powder, mm, not coming again over in 2021. I have my own clear powder, I already told you guys. So if I'm using anything that's clear, it's going to be my own, unless I'm trying something or doing a review for a company or something like that, I don't think I'll be purchasing any other clear. Remember when I did the video where I compared Mia Secrets Clear and Young Nails Clear? Some of you were really, really diehard Mia Secret fans, and I understand why. Some of you guys were Young Nails diehard fans, and again, I understand why. But to me, they felt the same. They felt the same, you guys. To me, they felt the same. And I don't want to be crucified here. <laughs> this is just my personal opinion. So this pink, it's not like a pink. It's one of those clears with a hint of pink. It is a very pretty color. I don't have anything negative to say about it. It is a little bit on the runny side, just like their regular clear. So yeah, I won't be repurchasing this in 2021. And last but not least, Eternal Beige from E Nail Couture. This is like a fan favorite. Would I repurchase in 2021? No, I would not because you guys, I love the color. Let me just let me just be honest. I love the color. I love the consistency of this powder. I really, really do. And I love the packaging. You hear me? I love it all. But going into 2021, I will not be purchasing from this company unless something changes, unless he just grows a heart and apologizes for the mean things he said to hurt people's feelings. Like if you could get on your platform and publicly make someone feel like shit, I feel like you should be able to get on that same platform and make that person feel better. If he's issued an apology and I just don't know about it, then all right. Maybe we could talk in 2021. <laughs> but if he hasn't done that, then I just don't want to support him. And that's just my personal opinion. You guys are welcome to do whatever you want. All right. Well, I can't find any more empty containers. So I guess that's a wrap. I know I finished way more products than these, but maybe someone thought that my bag of empties was trash and threw it away. <laughs> Oh, well, I'll be more careful in 2021. So my empties for 2021 should be so lit, you guys, because I'm saving everything. Until next time, guys, I love you so much. Bye. <laughs> I ran out of breath. <laughs> Bye, y'all.